Hi, Jennifer Field here with IDA TV here at the 29th Annual WonderCon, and I'm at TNT's The Last Ship press line, and I'm, I'm so honored to meet you. I have Hank Steinberg here, who's the executive producer and creator of The Last Ship. So that means that you uh, must have got the rights to the book. How did this all develop? Tell me about um, the early stages of the show. Uh, well, TNT had acquired the rights to the book. It was uh, Michael Wright's favorite book, um, and he brought it to Michael Bay and his producing team, who then were looking for a writer, and happily enough, they came to me, and uh, we sat down and talked about it. I thought it was a really cool idea. Uh, I recruited an old friend of mine, Stephen Kane, and to, to do it together, and we sat down and talked about the book, and the book is, was written in the 80s. It was a Cold War era book, and we had a lot of things to do to try to figure out how to update it and adapt it and uh, change a lot of the scenarios really. The original concept of the book had to do with a nuclear war and we changed it to a global pandemic and having the idea of a doctor on board who could potentially find the cure, that was really the key to the whole, the whole thing. So, um, so that's how it developed. And if you were stuck on a ship in a po post-apocalyptic era, <laughs> like the setting of the show, just name me one thing that you could not live without. One thing I could not live without. Yes. Space. Okay. Room. Room. Room to walk around. Those ships are claustrophobic. Oh my God. I, cause I, I've been on them. I've shot on them. And it's, after three hours, you're like, I really need to go to the deck and get some air. So it's pretty enclosed, the set. It's it, much like a ship. It's really enclosed. I, I have tremendous respect for those people in the Navy who spent six months in those things. Right. There we go. Thank you so much. Jennifer Field with ID8 TV. Thanks.